And do you? What? Love this place. I could travel to the far side of the earth and I still wouldn't leave it behind. Which rather begs the question, why go? I'm not doing it for me, I'm doing it for Mum. Did you speak to her again last night? I'm summoning up the courage to go and see her now. How was it after I left? Do you fancy a coffee? If it puts it off for a few more minutes, why not? I'll put the kettle on. Sure you want to wear all this? Well, I'm going to see her. I might as well know everything. Well, basically, you're a thoughtless, ungrateful, inconsiderate, selfish pig running off whenever you feel like it. I'm paraphrasing, but that's the gist of it. <laughs> put yourself in her shoes, Mark. Offering to buy you into Ian's business was a huge gesture for her. And you've just chucked it back in her face. Well, that's what threw me. If I hadn't been for that, I'd have kept my mouth shut and told her later. So the original plan was that you were going to take her to one side and say that you were going off on some long extended holiday and that miraculously somehow she was going to understand, is that it? Obviously not as simple as that. It was never going to work, Mark. So what's the alternative? You tell her the truth. No way. It's kinder in the long run. What's remotely kind about asking her to watch me die? Have you seen the photographs? Because I have, Sharon. She's my mum. I know she can be a pain sometimes, but I still love her. And there's no way I'm going to put her through that. I've been there, Mark. Tom didn't want to put me through it either. Thought he was doing me a favour. But that's not how I saw it. All I saw was someone being rather horrible and insensitive. He wanted to protect you. Maybe. But maybe it was more because he wanted to protect himself. Because he didn't want to face up. I'm not blaming him. I'd probably do the same myself. But I'd still much rather have known. Don't make me do this, Sharon. I'm not making you do anything, I'm just saying. I've had over ten years of facing up. It's nothing to do with that. It's about the lesser of two evils. Okay. It's your decision. Right. I'd better get it over with. Mark. What? I love you. Just needed to say that. Why are you letting Vicky run the stall? Because someone needs to clear up this mess. I don't know what she's doing. Well, she's going to have to learn. Because with me in prison and you off around the world, who's left? Well, where's Mum? Like you care. Don't do this to me, Martin. She's at work, all right? Already? Yeah. She needed to take her mind off things. I'll go and see her there then, shall I? <sighs> Thanks for the jumper. It was 15 quid off the market. I wouldn't go overboard about it. I don't want to fall out about this, Martin. I need someone on my side. Then you're looking in the wrong place, ain't you? Mine. Oh, well, I've got nothing to do this morning, so I told your mum I'd hold the fort for a couple of hours. Why is that? She's gone into town. Change of scene. I thought it might do her some good. I wanted to speak to her. Might as well be a change of heart. Would it help to talk to me? I mean, I've just put the kettle on. What do you say? How long has your mum worked here? For as long as I can remember. Don't actually stand it. All the noise and the smell. Yeah. Well, she's used to, I suppose. Yeah, Dad was the same. Market clean, wasn't he? Amongst other things. Never complained. Same few streets, same piles of rubbish. Sound almost angry about it. No dreams, no ambitions. As long as there was food on the table and the kids were all right. Yeah, well, most people call that getting their priorities right. Yeah. I went and had a word with him this morning. Sorry? His bench in the square. Oh! Right. I do that sometimes when things get tough. Things are tough now, aren't they? I've been a greengrocer so long now, sometimes I can't stand it. I get this voice in my head saying, you've got to go. Won't leave off. It's there all the time. If you don't go now, you'll end up just like you're dead. And that's just not me. 
I'd have gone already if it wasn't for Mum and Martin. I hear everything you're saying, Mark, and believe me, I do understand. But would it not be better to wait a few weeks until things are all sorted out? Once this voice starts, it won't stop. You know, half of me could get on that bike right now and just go. It'd be that easy. But not that easy for your mum. That's why I'm still here. When's she coming back? I told her a couple of hours. I'll catch up with her later. Okay. What's eating you? You were there when she came in last night, weren't you? Laura. Lynn's having kittens about it. What do you do? I'll look after Laura if you look after me, Mum. How does that sound? I don't get you. Don't matter. Large whiskey, please, Trace. I think he just wants to experience the world. <laughs> Nonsense. Why'd you say that? Because I've heard all this before. Hi. Peace offering. Well? Like I was saying to Derek earlier. I know what you said to Derek earlier. I know all about it. If I could change my mind about this, Mum, I would. What do you mean, if? This hasn't been an easy decision for me, but now that I've made it... Am I hearing him straight? I can't go back on what I've decided. Well, why don't you? What's stopping you? I mean, why are we going through all this rigmarole? Because I already know. Hmm. Yeah. Lisa's been in touch with you, hasn't she? I worked it all out this morning while I was walking around the shops. Now, why would Mark do such a selfish thing at this time? And then it hit me. All them rumours about what Phil Mitchell's supposed to have done to Lisa, that's all they were, rumours. And now she's been in touch with you. Oh, I'm lonely, I'm broke, I've realised I've made a terrible mistake. And you, like some lovesick puppy, go running off to rescue her. Well, go on then. Don't tell me you're going to try and deny it. You run off after her, leave your brother rotting in prison, see if I care. Mum, I'm begging you. Yes, and I'm begging you! Stay with me! You're asking the one thing I can't do. Do what you like. Mark, perhaps this isn't the right time, mate, OK? I'm sorry, Mum. Oh, get out. If you're going to do it, Vicky, do it properly. Put down a magazine. What's your star sign? What? I'm a Leo. Leo, you are in danger of becoming a king-sized boar. Now back off. That was a complete waste of time. What did you expect? You think you're being a selfish pig? Do you know what? So do I. This is one crazy family. Mark? I don't think I'm cut with much more in a show. Come here. 